Today, computers are all around us, from desktop computers to smartphones. They are changing the way we live our lives. But what exactly is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data. The computer sees data as ones and zeros, but it knows how to combine them into more complex things, such as a photograph, a movie, a website, a game, and much more. Computers use a combination of hardware and software. Hardware is any physical part of the computer, which includes all the internal components and also the external parts like the monitor and the keyboard. Software is any set of instructions that tells the hardware what to do, such as a web browser, a media player, or a word processor. Now when most people say computer, they are talking about a personal computer. This can be a desktop computer or a laptop computer, which has basically the same capabilities, but in a more portable package. Personal computers come in two main styles, PC and Mac. PCs are the most common type. There are many companies that make them, and they usually come with a Microsoft Windows operating system. Mac or the Macintosh computers are all made by one company, Apple and they come with a Mac OS X operating system. Computers come in many other shapes and sizes. Mobile phones, tablets, game consoles, and even TVs have built-in computers, although they may not do everything a desktop or a laptop can. Okay, double click on my computer. I can see your computer. No, no. Click on my computer on your computer. How can I click on your computer for my computer? There is an icon labeled my computer on your computer. Double click it. What the hell? What is your computer doing on my computer? Double click on your computer. Which icon do I have to click? My computer. Tell me where do you live? I go to your house to click on your computer. Click on your computer. A desktop computer is made up of several basic parts and we're going to show you what these parts are and what they're used for. The computer case contains the main components of the computer. This is where the actual processing happens. Today, most cases are tower cases, which means they stand up vertically. Sometimes you see a horizontal case, which is often called a desktop case. In order to view anything on your computer, You'll need to have a monitor. The monitor connects to the video card inside your computer to display images and text on the screen. Most monitors have LCD or LED displays, which can be made very thin so they don't use much desk space. To save even more space, you can buy an all-in-one computer which combines the monitor and the computer case into a single unit. To interact with your computer, you'll need a keyboard and mouse. Keyboards come in different shapes and sizes, for example, ergonomic and wireless keyboards. The mouse is used to control the mouse pointer on the screen. It can either be optical, which has an electrical eye at the bottom, or mechanical, which uses a rolling ball to detect motion. Some people prefer to use a trackball or a touchpad instead of a mouse. This uses less desk space since they don't need to move around when you're using them. So those are the basic parts of a desktop computer.
work begins with an idea, and Word brings your ideas to life with collaboration, editing tools, and design. Start composing in your own words and then format text with themes. If you'd like to collaborate, share your document on OneDrive with a click. Then chat, comment, and co-author documents to work with others at the same time. You can even make Skype calls from your document to brainstorm on the spot. While review and track changes, keep everyone on the same page. Polish your words with powerful proofing tools and style suggestions from editor. And with a web browser or Word mobile app, you can view and edit documents from wherever and whenever a thought strikes. Learn how to bring your best writing with Word. You've got mountains of data. Wouldn't it be great if you find the story behind the numbers on your own? That's why there's Excel. You see, Excel is the best app for reviewing and editing spreadsheets at work, at home, and everywhere in between. As you enter data, Excel recognizes patterns so it can automatically fill in the remaining info for you. Then after you've entered data, Excel helps you spot trends and patterns using bars, spark lines, color coding, and icons. Excel even helps you summarize and illustrate your insight by recommending pre-made pivot tables, charts, and when you're all done, let others view and edit your work at the same time by saving it to the cloud on OneDrive. You don't even need a PC, you just need a browser and the Excel mobile app. Learn how to uncover the story behind the numbers with Excel. PowerPoint for over 20 years is the ubiquitous tool to aid speakers during a presentation in front of a live audience. As a user, you create slides, a reference to the 35mm slides and projectors from yesteryear. You add text, graphics, photos, and even videos to your slides and use them to help present your ideas to your audience. Armed with your laptop, perhaps a remote control, you can become a dynamic speaker with PowerPoint illustrating your ideas on a screen behind you. Of course, PowerPoint has grown beyond a 35mm reference. Today, PowerPoint lets you save your presentation to the web, broadcasting them to audiences around the internet. You can convert your presentation to a variety of formats, sharing them with others. You can save it as video, PDF, even HTML. You can even upload your file to YouTube, complete with your voice, narration, animation, and any video you've embedded. Publisher is a program in the Microsoft Office suite. It can be used to create publications like name badges, brochures, menu, and more. If you are familiar with the Microsoft Office, you probably know that you can create these materials in Word. However, there are certain advantages to Publisher. For example, it gives you more control to size, shape, and layout of your document. Whether you are working on a tiny business card or a multi-page newsletter. One of the biggest computer threat is malware. Malware is any type of software that is designed to damage your computer or gain an authorized access to your personal information. This can include viruses, spyware, trojan horses, and other types of software. Any computer can get malware, although if you are using a Mac, it is less likely. To protect your computer, you should install an antivirus program such as Kaspersky, Norton, or Bitdefender. This helps prevent viruses from being installed, and it also lets you scan your computer and remove any viruses that are found. Keep in mind that no antivirus program is perfect. To stay safe, you should avoid suspicious looking ads or downloads. Run regular updates to your antivirus program, and also run updates to your operating system. If something bad does happen to your computer, you could lose all your important files. To prevent this, you should back up your files regularly. 
One way to do this is you should buy external hard drive and copy your files to it. Following these tips would help you protect your computer and ensure that all your important files will be there when you need them.